Why wouldn't you want to play it? Everybody else is playing it. Pokemon Go is all the rage, but it is putting unsuspecting kids at risk. Experts say it could make them easy targets for predators on the prowl for their next victim. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette joins us with a warning every parent needs to see. With the evolution of video games like Pokemon Go, kids now face real dangers like never before. That's why deputies want to make sure we are protecting them. Take a walk through any public park, neighborhood playground, or downtown, and you'll likely see countless kids walking with their eyes glued to their cell phones. They're on the prowl to find characters from the popular new game Pokemon Go. Millions of small kids, teens, even grown adults have bought into this craze by downloading the app. Six-year-old Alexander Swan is hooked. Just ask his mom. He loves it. Why wouldn't he want to play it? Everybody else is playing it. But a troubling reality is that everybody includes those hunting for more than just Pokemon. Experts say child predators are now using the app to track down children to potentially victimize. To gain a better understanding, we sat down with Sergeant Pam McLean from the Macomb Area Computer Enforcement Team, also known as MACE. How does Pokemon Go make kids vulnerable when they're out and about searching for these characters? I've seen kids as, long, as young as 8 and 10 years old walking around malls doing it by themselves. They're going to lie to them. They're going to pose as their best friend and lure the kids into a back alley. And then who knows what's going to happen from there. They will do whatever it takes to, to get what they want. On a sunny summer day, we visited a park in St. Clair Shores packed with young Pokemon Go players. While there was no obvious sign of danger, Sergeant McLean says, don't be fooled. They find what the kids are interested in. So kids play at parks, kids go to swimming pools, kids go online and play video games, kids play Pokemon Go. So somebody tells them, well, I'm just here, I'm just your friend, um, I'm not going to do anything, you know, we're just going to hang out and do that, and kids are going to believe that. During nighttime, under the cover of darkness, creeps can feel even more at ease approaching players searching for those Pokemon. Pokemon Go has it developed that way so that there's certain creatures, as I call them, that come out only during nighttime hours. There's certain creatures that only come out near waterways. There's certain creatures that only come out in field areas. You'll see groups and clusters of kids together with no adult supervision. Um, nobody's paying attention to what's happening, and obviously they, they become, now become prime targets. So what can be done about all this? Well, in New York State, there's a new push to protect kids. Lawmakers backed by their governor working to prevent sex offenders on parole from possessing the app with close monitoring by parole officers. They've even requested Pokemon Go developers create new safeguards. But here in Michigan, parents and kids are still waiting for state leaders to step up. Do you worry about someone targeting your child playing this game, somebody who's not interested in Pokemon Go? Yes, of course. There could be people that just want to att attract kids with their Pokemon, so I'd be safe and come with my mom. Do you think about just watching out for someone who could be a danger while you're playing the game? Uh, yeah, because I mean, you always got to worry about your safety. Any time that we could monitor sex offenders in a better way, I think is all the better for us. In the meantime, deputies in Macomb County prioritizing patrols of areas where people play Pokemon Go. They're monitoring who's nearby and also issuing an important warning for parents whose kids play the interactive game. What is your biggest advice to give to parents. Know where they are, know who they're with, know where they're going, um, be with them. Tonight I spoke with a couple of state lawmakers who've pledged to work on a new proposal. We will stay on top of this to make sure your kids are kept safe. Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Boy, you gotta worry about everything, uh, don't you? Exactly, everything. Even